Diesel fuel that's made from vegetable oil or animal fat. Unlike regular diesel and gasoline, producing biodiesel doesn't require petroleum. Instead, the raw materials are locally available and can be recycled from waste. If your car has a diesel engine, it can run on biodiesel fuel, usually without requiring any modifications. While biodiesel and petroleum diesel are similar in energy efficiency and fuel economy, biodiesel is more eco-friendly. For starters, it can be made from what would otherwise have been waste. For example, from vegetable oil of your local fast food joint. The restaurant simply discards its used fryer oil in a receptacle out back. Every few days, a vacuum truck comes by to collect it. In its current state, the oil contains water and food particles, making it unusable for biodiesel production, so the truck transports it to a filtering plant. There, they pump the oil into a holding tank, then heat it up to draw out the water. Once they drain the water, the oil is ready to enter a multi-stage filtering process. First, the oil goes through a vibrating sieve, which strains out the larger pieces of debris. After this first filtering, the oil is already visibly cleaner. Next, it passes through a second vibrating sieve. This one has a finer mesh, therefore it catches smaller particles of debris. After the second stage, the oil looks clean, but still contains microscopic debris. So it enters the third and final filtering stage, passing through 20 ultra-fine filter cloths, which trap any particles larger than one micron in size. A micron is about 80 times smaller than the width of a human hair. The captured debris leaves a muddy residue on the filters. That vegetable oil, which once deep-fried potatoes, is now ready to cook up some diesel fuel. Another source of oil for making biodiesel is beef tallow, oil derived from cow fat. Biodiesel producers typically buy tallow from facilities like this one, which specialize in cleaning cow hides for leather tanneries. Sharp revolving blades shear off the fat from the back of the hide. The fat drops onto a conveyor, which moves it into a steam injection cook tank. The tank heats the fat to a gentle boil, extracting the oil. Everything else leaves the tank and drops into a waste container. The oil moves onward, passing through a two-stage filtration process. Whether the raw material is vegetable oil or beef tallow, the biodiesel producers refer to this main ingredient as feedstock. When the feedstock arrives at the biodiesel plant, it goes into a holding tank until production time. This demonstration illustrates the production recipe. They take the feedstock and combine it with methanol, a type of wood alcohol as well as with a catalyst, which triggers a chemical reaction. A processing unit mixes everything thoroughly while applying heat and pressure. The resulting chemical reaction produces a harmless byproduct, glycerin, a common ingredient in soaps and cosmetics. Processing consumes much of the methanol. Then they remove even more, leaving just a tiny percentage of it in the finished biodiesel. To ensure their fuel meets international regulatory standards, the plant's quality control lab tests samples from each production run. In this flammability test, they heat the fuel to 135 degrees Celsius, then apply a flame to see whether the gases ignite. If they do, they have to remove more methanol to make the fuel safe. If they don't ignite, the fuel meets international safety standards. Biodiesel costs more at the pump, but emits significantly less carbon dioxide and monoxide, and 85% fewer cancer-causing agents into the air we breathe.